I'm Karen Grohn. I'm the Senior Director for the Gender Cross-Cutting Solution Area at the World Bank Group. We're in the process of updating our gender strategy, and to do so effectively, we want to hear your views about the best approach we can take to help countries close gaps between males and females in economic opportunity and in economic, political, and social life. We want to hear your ideas about how we can make our strategy most effective in tackling the numerous challenges facing women and girls and men and boys today, and to identify transformational solutions to get to gender equality. We've already begun the process of soliciting feedback through our online consultation platform, and we welcome your input on that platform. Visitors to our website are able to post comments on a set of issues raised in a concept note, which is online and available in Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. We are engaging with a variety of groups, including governments, the private sector, civil society organizations, and the World Bank's development partners to explore innovative, gender-smart solutions to a number of challenges. We know that women can and do play a vital role in deriving the robust, shared growth that's needed to end extreme poverty and build resilient and inclusive societies. However, in many parts of the world, the productive potential of women and girls, their participation, and their productive capacity are constrained. Women are living longer, healthier lives on average than even a decade ago. Yet too many women and girls still lack basic opportunities. They typically have far fewer assets like land, housing, technology, and finance. And as a result of lack of ownership, control, and access to these types of assets, they farm smaller plots, they work in less profitable sectors, and they operate smaller enterprises. Women and girls often face discriminatory laws and norms that constrain their time and choices. Laws, for example, that prevent them from opening bank accounts, and social norms that stream them into lower paying, less secure jobs. We can do more and better through our operations to change negative stereotypes and harmful social norms, including tolerance of gender-based violence that are a constraint to women and men's economic participation and productivity. In addition to collecting your comments online, we are holding a series of face-to-face -face meetings from mid-April until mid-July 2015. We'd like to invite you to take the time to be part of these consultations, and we look forward to your continued engagement throughout the process of developing this new strategy. Thank you.